really until about a decade ago, we had no FDA approved treatments and now we have a whole bunch. And I think we really don't know the optimal sequence of how to use these agents. So that's a real challenge in the field. Many patients with low grade or slow growing neuroendocrine tumors that this study addressed, um, often as a first line choice, will get a somatostatin analog, so octreotide or lanreotide. And it's really in the second line that we have a whole number of options. There are fortunately some clinical trials coming down the road. And one, in fact, is using capecitabine temozolomide as a comparator arm. And so I think that's another thing that this trial has contributed to the field is we have a new comparator arm potentially. So there there is an alliance study um, also through the National Clinical Trial Network looking at lutetium dotatate versus capecitabine temozolomide in advanced pancreatic net. So I think that's starting to look at comparing active agents, which is something we really need for the field.